Hey guys, what is going on? This is going to be your map guide in Modern Warfare 2 for the map Embassy, which is a cool little map in this game. It's definitely one of the more interesting ones. There's a lot of combat for pretty much everybody in this. It's a bit of long range stuff, a bit of close range stuff in and out of the buildings, and it does make for a very interesting map. Starting us off here, we do have, as usual, the flags, which this is the sea flag over by this half of the building here, next to the sort of truck and the bit where you can climb up onto the... Uh, on top here, not too bad of a spot. Moving towards the middle of the map, if we take it a little careful here, we can sort of see towards the mid lane, very sort of blocky building style lanes, and the B flag is in the middle of these two buildings here. Again, this is always going to be a hotly contested area of the map, just the B flag, and you can bounce a lot of grenades and that kind of thing in this area, and you'll usually end up with quite a few kills here. Moving through the building here, again, we jump in through this window here into the bathroom area, we take a little bit of a look here find all the way back and we find the A flag in the middle of this building here which again the flag sort of configuration on this map is a little bit interesting a little bit different but it does make for a very interesting gameplay experience. So as usual there is some stuff that I do want to talk about here and the first thing we'll talk about is basically with this little truck ice van kind of thing here. If you do get a little bit of a running start if you do get a little bit of a running start, you can make your way up onto this bit and then jump up on here. Normally, the other way you can get up here is via this ladder here. It can be a little bit slower, and especially you do have to put your gun away if you do climb up via the ladder, and you get the big old sun flare in your face. So it can be a little bit tricky if you're not sort of using that way to get up here, and you might get taken out by somebody if you do climb up the ladder. Keep in mind, there is a door here as well, which somebody can definitely be hiding in. You can just always use the stairwells as a pretty good power position. And then if somebody does climb up the ladder, you can get an easy kill on them. So jumping up this way is usually going to be better but again it usually depends on like the game position and where you are in the map or where the enemies are so just keep this spot in mind you can jump up here very easily and you should be able to do it most of the time with a bit of a you can also use the ladder you can also use a little bit of the ladder thingy there but yeah really just jump up there quite easy there is a little bit of an interesting thing with the spawns on this map if you are in this area here sort of fighting around this kind of spot over that window there nice little line of sight and then again you can see towards that window there and then the one below the b flag but again, the interesting thing about this is if you are up in this area, people can actually spawn down here. So just keep an eye out on the spawns. If you do hear some rustling or some footsteps, there's probably somebody who's just spawned down here while you're sort of fighting over this area here, particularly for these windows, that kind of thing in this planner box, and then sort of towards that direction there. There's a little bit of another planner box there and there that you usually will end up in gunfights in with your snipers and your long range weapons. So just keep that spot in mind. Again, and the palm tree sort of blocking off a line of sight there. So just use this to sort of get a little bit of a, a cover peak kind of thing going on here. It makes it pretty easy to get a lot of kills. But again, keep in mind that people do spawn down here all the time as well, especially if you are up in this area. So just be aware of it. Again, the only way up here realistically is like this ladder and then the stairs. So again, just think about this spot if you are sitting it because people do spawn down here pretty much all the time. And they're going to be exposed from like down there and then that window up there as well. So again, think about this one. Again, there are the stairs in the middle of this map that you can see if we do take a look here. This is going to lead you up again towards this part of the map here again. You can see that this does lead towards the stairs and again that back area there. This tree does actually do a lot of work on this map. It's sort of blocking lines of sight. It's kind of interesting. Stops people from sort of like having the high ground and then controlling most of the map, which is a neat little spot. But again, you usually just move this area, move through this area, sort of get towards the middle of the lane and then see the B flag. Again, that window there, that window there and that window there are heavily, heavily trafficked areas of the map. This is another one where there is a bit of a hard point in this area here, I believe it's in this room. So again, you can sort of use the floors and things like that to chuck your drill charges through the walls and the roofs. We don't actually have one here today, so we're not going to cover super lots of them. But just have a think about it, like when you are moving around this area, just think where the drill charges could go. And usually just chuck them at the floors or the roofs and you will probably end up getting a kill, particularly one like this. If we do move through this area here, if you do stick it, say, on that wall there, it'll explode and sort of deal a little bit of damage to somebody who is out here. And again, you can sort of sometimes lean one on this wall and it'll explode out, do a little bit of damage. It'll tell you if somebody is sitting in this area. Someone's sitting like on here for some reason. Again, there's a hard point up here as well. Somebody might be sitting in this area like a bit of a dummy just out in the open. And again, a drill charge will get the job done most of the time. Again, you can chuck your drill charges through these walls and stuff and get sort of damage and sort of kills on the the B flag, the mid lane area of the map. And a lot of this is drill chargeable. Again, something like this as well. If you do move this area here, you'd potentially be able to chuck one through there and sort of kill somebody maybe who's sort of camping and sitting in this area here as well, using this as a bit of a close quarters engagement area. You gotta check these booths, man, because people do love sitting in this area because I mean, it's just an easy kill on somebody who does walk in here. So check this spot here or throw a drill charge like there. 
Sometimes it will work there. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what's going to happen if you do throw it there, but just give it a shot. See what happens with the drill charges because there's a lot of cool spots on this map for them. Again, as you can see, this is going to be a hotly contested area of the map. Again, if you are sitting in this area, you're fairly exposed, but you do have quite a powerful position on the spawn from that side. Again, you can see the windows there, 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 and there, and then the door, and then most of the people back there. But again, if you are sitting in this area, you probably want to just use this sort of like planner box kind of thing to sort of be in and out of this area and like not be too exposed from all the directions at the same time. Trees might do a little bit of work for you here, again, as well as like some palm trees, that kind of thing in this area. So keep that in mind if you are using this spot, you can actually manage to jump up from here onto there. And I'm sure if you're not bad at the game, you'd be able to jump up into that window there. So it's a nice little spot and a nice little way to try and make it up there. The game kind of makes it a little obvious, but you might not know that spot. So you can just jump on there because the X, they do usually mark this kind of thing with something to, to let you know that it's definitely worth giving a shot. You jump up there and you hit another jump into this window here. If you do want to make your way up here, again, another spot where you can hit a fat drill charge on people who are sitting in the bathroom below, check it through the floor, or again, vice versa, check it through the roof and you'll get a kill on somebody who is sitting here. Because as I said, this is a hotly contested spot, man. People love sitting here because of the doorway, the B flag, the mid lane. Again, this is a hard point. And again, seeing back towards that side of the map as well. If we do take a look in this sort of embassy building on the right hand side of the map, we near that A flag, as you can see, there's big old, big old lines of sight across the map here. A lot of sniper jewels and stuff like that happen on this area. Most people will sit on like the box there and then the planner box there and have big gunfights across this area. And then the tennis court, as I said, people do spawn behind there. So again, keep an eye on this spot if you are sitting in here. Check the door, check the planner boxes. Again, check the mid lane. You can see the B flag there, so keep that spot in mind. But if you can, you can sort of get blocked off by that bit of the planner box there and again the door as well again if we can do move back towards this area here you can use this mostly towards those drill charges again we're going to talk about it a lot in the map guys the drill charge spots again this is just a floor and again a ceiling from below you chuck it through these kind of areas if you do have two of them you can make pretty light work of somebody who might be sitting below you and again same goes with like the hallways and stuff. It's mirrored on sort of the top and the bottom floor. So if you do start chucking drill charges through the floor or the ceiling, you're gonna get a kill more or less sooner or later. It's just one of those things that it will happen. So keep these spots in mind. Keep a lot of these like roofs and ceilings and floors kind of things in mind because you can get a lot of easy easy drill charge kills through most of them moving towards here this is a nice little room that you can use to sort of get at the back somebody might be spawning over there again there is a hard point area sort of on the sort of front patio back of that side there so if you do use this area you might end up getting a kill on somebody coming around this side to sort of get into this building here it's not a super useful spot for the most part mostly just because there's not an awful not an awful lot of ways to get up here you can't really do any sort of jumpy shenanigans. There is a ladder. There is a ladder. Again, and tack ladder here, you use that to climb up. It's a little bit less dangerous to use this particular tack ladder just because there's not a lot of action going on this side of the map compared to the other side that we did talk about. But again, there's no sort of like convenient jumpy spots that you can use to get up here. Then you use this spot, sort of like get the sniper out and sort of peek people who are sitting on that box there. So not super lots to this room, but again, definitely worth talking about. If we do move back towards this side of the map again as well, you can see this, this does lead towards the opposite side that we did talk about these are the planner boxes that you can see from up there again you'll get into like some medium to long range gunfights here with your snipers and your assault rifles and that kind of thing so again just keep it in mind if you are sitting back here again people will likely spawn back there so your kills will mostly be on that line of sight there and then on that line of sight there so keep this spot in mind as well the reverse is true on this side as you can see there is another staircase that does lead up to the top floor of this building again you got to be aware of these stairwells man you got to be aware of people sitting in the top of them because they are very very easy to to defend and very difficult to push if somebody is like sitting at the top of the stairs like if somebody's sitting on the top of the platform you're in trouble here if you move into this area you're probably going to die if they are sitting there so just keep that in mind if you are moving around here and again, we can see that there's the big old planter box in the middle. If you do use those boots, man, if you just start sprinting around everywhere, you're going to have a pretty decent time on this map, just in and out of all these gunfights. Again, people do spawn back there. So if you are in this area, sort of move up a little bit closer to the wall, maybe sort of like lean on that bit there, and then come around into the middle, and then lean on that bit there, and then move across. Continue all the way around the map. You just sort of sometimes want to stick towards the edges of the map, and then maybe climb up the ladder and take out somebody who is sitting on that box there and then you keep moving about your day and you just do little circles around most maps and you can get a decently long kill streak going as well or you can play in the other way that people do and sort of like hold these power positions and wait for people to come to you when they get mad which definitely happens all the time so sort of depends on how you do want to play keep an eye out on the windows keep an eye out on the doorways the bathroom down there we'll go take a look at that it's not super interesting but i've been killed in there a number of times so 
Usually off the spawn, people will try and get in and out of this window very, very quickly. So you do have to be ready for a gunfight. Usually in this doorway, if you do get to here, you do get to the B flag and stuff like that as well. You can defend this area, but again, it's basically just a little box where people can throw grenades in. So keep that in mind. If you are sitting there, you're pretty likely to die. There's also a door here. And again, you can chuck lots of stuff through this wall. It's all just shootable. You can see that the bullets do end up going through here. So keep this in mind. If you're just chucking stuff around, man, you're probably going to get some kills on this map, which is really, really cool. Again, another little planter box that you can use to sort of see back towards here. This nice box with the X on it does prevent you from seeing this line of sight, which I feel like is a nice little map design choice. Again, you can use this sort of hide behind it and defend this hard point area here, maybe defend the B flag as well. Again, as you can see, as you can probably tell, all of the vehicles around this area of the map are eventually going to be destroyed. You definitely can blow a lot of them up, so just keep an eye on it. People do love to sit out in this area here, all the way back out here, man. All the way back out here. You can see people sitting on these cars and stuff a lot of the time. They do get a bit bouncy when you do stand on which I think is pretty funny, but again... You see sometimes people with the snipers sitting on these long lines of sight because it's kind of difficult to get to them if they do have like the the distance advantage on you with like a sniper or something like that. But again, the trucks and stuff do blow up eventually. So just chuck some stuff at them if they are sitting out here camping. You might get an easy kill on them and then you can like prevent them from moving into that spot. You can also sort of jump from that car there if you are interested in getting up on this side. But realistically, there's not super lots else to this map to talk about. There's another little room down here. You might see somebody camping down in here, so keep this spot in mind as well. This bit moves towards the kitchen. Again, hard point in here, so again, keep an eye out on this spot as well. Bit of tomatoes to destroy in here, but again, not super lots else to talk about. This is a cool map in this game. It's nice close quarters action, but at the same time, there's some medium and longer range combat. If you do like that kind of thing, you get your sniper out and your assault rifles and you start blasting a long distance. You can have a lot of fun on this map. I do enjoy it. I think it's one of the better ones in the game at the moment. If you did enjoy this map guide or you do think I did miss something, make sure you do let me know in the comments. Again, hit that subscribe button as well if you do want to stay up to date with all of the Modern Warfare 2 content, including those class setups, including the map guides and all those other lovely things. And again, hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye!